Hey, this is Blunderman911, and this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a plant, sort of like this one, for Blender Game Engine or whatever you want. So, first of all, you have to have a photo editing program like Photoshop or something else. So, I have Photoshop. I'm going to open that, and you have to go to File, Open, and the description. I'm going to put the picture that I'm using. So, just save it somewhere and then open it and this is the picture I'm using so hold the background and copy the background by dragging it onto this and where it says background uncheck the eye so that you can't see it and with the background copy selected get the eraser tool and erase everything around this big leaf so that you have a checkered background and you have to erase everything around the leaf and once you're done you should have something that looks like this with only the large leaf and then you have to go to file save and where it says photoshop you have to change it to png and it has to be png or else this won't work and then you could rename it if you want. I'm going to name mine uh, Blender. No, I'm going to name mine Big Purple Leaf. And make sure it's in PNG format. And then go ahead and save it. Then go back to Blender. And I'm going to move this out of the way. Go into top view by hitting 7 on the numpad, space, add mesh, and add a plane. Hit SX to make it a little longer because the uh, leaf is kind of long. So hover over this line right here until you have two arrows. Hit your middle mouse button, split area, click right here and change it from 3D view to UV image editor. Make sure you're in edit mode for your plane, either hit tab or go down here and select edit mode, hit U, unwrap, and go where it says image, open, and find your image that you just made, or yeah, that you just made, and find where you saved it, so uh, go ahead and open it, mine's right here, open image, and then just go right here and rotate this around so that it fits on the leaf and it doesn't have to fit perfectly but just make sure the whole leaf is showing on this plane and make sure it's in textured mode right here select textured or else you won't see the, the leaf then once you have it, your leaf on the plane go over here to your editing button go to texture face and if it, has, if it says no active face then just go into object mode and go back into edit mode and then go to texture face hit two side and what that's going to do is it's going to show the picture of the leaf on both sides of the plane and hit clip alpha so that you see only the leaf then hit tab to go back into edit mode you could close this by uh, hovering over here and middle mouse button join areas and then you just have to basically copy this a little let me put I'm gonna put a floor so that's a little easier to see alright so this is gonna be our floor make it green or something. Now just like rotate your leaves, grab it, then rotate them, hit shift D to copy it, then you can rotate it, put it wherever you want. it like that and you could also shift D again and then on this one go into edit mode b 
by hitting tab. I'm going to move the floor down a little because on this one hit tab and hit control R to make a loop cut and just make one right here control R again and make another right here and now if you grab these lines go over here to the edge select and select one of these and just rotate it and grab it and move it up now your leaf is kind of going down it's not straight like that and just grab it and put it with the other ones rotate it if you want and then shift D again rotate it just put it somewhere in here and just keep doing this until you have a lot of leaves just shift D and you can even select all the leaves and hit shift D rotate them and something like this with a lot of leaves grab them and move them a little if you want and then you can put a leaf in the middle of it shift D rotate it and now you have some kind of plant and what you can do now is select all the leaves let me just move this plane select all the leaves by holding B and boxing them in and hit control J join selected meshes so now this whole plant is one mesh and that's basically it for this tutorial.